I'll be honest, I didn't expect to find myself here, midnight, on a Sunday night, when I have to get up for work at 5 playing a crew game on wheel. But that's what happened. You see, the Crew Motorfest had a five hour trial and I decided why the hell not. I'll give it a go. This is by no means a review of the game, but my experience with the trial and how I felt about the handling itself on wheel, and again, not a reflection of the game overall. Going in, I wasn't exactly sure how things were going to go, because for some reason, every time I launch something for the first time on stream, it seems things go wrong. Where I then played the Car Desert Rally and I crashed a few times, but not as much as the game itself crashed. <laughs> Alright, countdown till things melt. What's gonna happen? Inst uh... <laughs> okay. So right off the bat, I went with the 4 out of 5 difficulty because I figured I like a challenge. Now my homie, who is a big crew gamer, after stream had told me from his experience that he thinks the higher difficulties are scaled for you having a tuned car in mind, which I can't confirm nor deny. I used some settings that he had recommended for wheel, which I didn't have enough time to test out the other settings as I was literally on the clock here. The countdown has started. <laughs> there it is. Unfortunately though, I did find myself in these menus quite a bit, and it was a pain navigating this UI at times. <laughs> Every time I gotta go look for certain settings, it's like such a pain to find controls, yeah. Because there's like three different controls, or three different areas for different controls, and it's like, okay, which one's where, you know? <laughs> My immediate reaction was that the wheel support itself was pretty good. Dude, this actually doesn't feel too bad. <laughs> but the handling... I'm just trying to get like a feel. Dude, these... Physics are so weird. When I was doing a test of the physics, a random stream goer appeared with the message three thumbs down and one cool. Wow, this is so weird. Yo, Johnny, what's up? What's going on? I figured he was a hater on the game, as it seems customary during new game releases. These things happen. <laughs> Turns out, he was talking about my driving itself. Drive better with a joystick? <laughs> yeah, the physics in this are definitely not meant for a wheel. Now when I say this game wasn't meant for wheel, what I really meant to say was it didn't feel natural, at least for me anyway. Look, I'll be the first one to admit that, yeah, <laughs> I can be a snob sometimes when it comes to how a game feels on wheel. <laughs> At the same time, that isn't me saying that a game is particularly bad. For me personally, when a game feels good on wheel and handles well on wheel, that is just pure beauty. It's weird because you feel like nothing, right? From the wheel? Like as far as like what the road you're going over is like, but the back and forth is enough to make it easy enough to counter steer. And the way the counter steering in this, it kind of makes a little more sense. 
Even though it's still arcadey, right? But the counter steering in this makes a little more sense. It's weird to get used to. I honestly don't really think I can say one is better over the other. Because one is better in one way and one is better in another way, you know? With the handling in this game on wheel, I personally found the car to be very dirty when turning and the counter steering was hard to get used to because it didn't feel natural to me. If I were to drive one of these arcadey cars, IRL, this is kinda what in my head I imagine it would feel like. From there, I went to my first race and this is where things really took a turn. Perhaps a bad idea to go into the race with my aftermarket deep dish wheel I use for drifting that comes equipped with zero buttons in a game that requires you to rely heavily on boost. Nitro? Looking past that, I really struggled getting used to the handling once it came time for racing. After struggling a few times, I decided to take a quick little run over to LFS since I had planned on switching to my Thrustmaster Rally Rim to use, you know, boost more effectively. Dude, I gotta, I gotta switch wheels, honestly. And because putting the quick release on the rally wheel would mean that I would have to then use a screwdriver to get it back off, this is why I figured might as well get some drifting in. Like, gelatinous? What a shot, dude. Returning to Motorfest. All right, we're good. to the graphics <laughs> I was ready to dive right back in and I was ready to get my ass kicked on a difficulty I probably had no right doing but I was with handling that I wasn't used to and the best part of all I forgot to switch wheels <laughs> That's right, the whole plan was to drift because then I was gonna swap wheels and it was gonna be a pain in the ass to get it back off. And then I just didn't even switch. <laughs> oh, that's right. Chill, baby. Yep, so when I actually started using the correct wheel is when things changed. Let's see if I get a better experience with this one. That feels way more natural to press it there. Yeah, dude. This wheel feels a lot more comfortable for what I'm using it for right now. Fuck you, dude. Get the fuck away. <laughs> yeah, dude. This wheel feels a lot more natural. <laughs> I still hadn't really gotten the hang of the handling, but the different wheel made a drastic change as now my racing position not only felt more natural, but I was able to easily access the boost button. After I got to the final race in the playlist, things had gotten pretty tough. I was really struggling to beat the final race. What it mostly comes down to is like the, uh, the physics of the game itself, though. Like, you really have to learn how everything kind of handles. So, like, there is a way to catch turns, like, when the back end kicks out. But it's not, uh, really natural. Yeah, I really don't... understand the physics at times you can get used to it see but uh it's weird it's really weird 
but I was also starting to finally get the hang of the handling and actually learning how to control the slides in this game. The problem was, if I made one mistake, it was pretty much GG's at that point. Oh, are you kidding me, dude? And with only an hour remaining on the trial, but more so, it being midnight and I had to get up for work at 5. I wasn't able to finish this race. <clears throat> I can't do it. Overall, the game had pretty good wheel support. But the handling was, for me, very weird to wrap my head around at first. I could see myself having a fun time with the game, especially just for cruising around and that Grand Race looks really fun. The price tag, however, is something that kind of makes me feel like holding off, especially since I know the way things kind of work. I'm sure in three to six months time, Steam will have that game at half price and I'll be able to make my decision later.